This video will introduce how to create a Windows 11 bootable USB installer on a Mac. Alright, let's get started. The first thing we should do is create a Windows 11 USB bootable installer. This method is also workable for Windows 10 or any other versions you want. Just keep in mind that you need a USB drive with a certain amount of gigabytes for the Windows version you want. For example, we need at least an 8 gigabytes USB drive to create a Windows 11 bootable installer. Anywhere between 8 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes should be fine. After choosing the right USB flash drive, the next thing you should do is download the ISO file. We will give an example tutorial for Windows 11, the latest version, but if you want others, this instruction still works. Go ahead and Google Windows 11 ISO, which will bring you to the Microsoft download page. Click to download it here. Then choose your language and click the confirm button. The next part, we should prepare the USB via disk utility. Launch disk utility on your Mac, then select the Windows 11 bootable USB. Click the erase button to format the USB. Note, erasing a drive will delete everything on it so ensure you have backed up your essential data in advance. We can rename the USB drive, then we should choose the format FAT. There is no need to change the scheme, by default, it's master boot record, what we want. Hit the erase button, and wait a very short time, the USB drive format is correct. Once it is done, go ahead and find the downloaded ISO file. Go to the Google download page, Click the three dots and select Show in Finder. Then you can find the downloaded Windows 11 ISO file in the Finder window. The third part, we should learn how to move the Windows 11 ISO files you downloaded into the formatted USB flash drive. Double click to open the downloaded Windows 11 ISO file folder. Then a device appears in your Mac's location tab called Coma. Open it. You can see many folders and files. You need to move them to your USB flash drive. Note, you can't drag them all to your USB device directly. Why? You can see the reason here. It says the sources folder is too large for the USB volumes format. You should note that the maximum size for a single file on FAT32 USB is 4 gigabytes. Here's a file named install.wim in the sources folder, which is more than the maximum size. Don't worry. The last thing you should do is to split this install.wim file into two smaller size files in order to move them to your USB installer. Before doing this, you should select all files and folders, excluding the sources folder, and drag them to the Windows 11 USB drive. This will take time. Then go to your USB drive and create a new folder named Sources. Repeat the previous steps copying all files except install.wim into the Sources folder you just created. You can use the command C and V shortcuts on Mac keyboard. Wait until all files are pasted in the USB Sources folder. Then, you should only split the biggest install.wim file. In order to add the install.wim file, we will need a program called wimlib, which is terminal-based. Open terminal and paste this command. You can copy this command in our video description part. Enter your password if asked and wait for a few minutes. When done, we will see an installation successful. Then, enter this command to install Wimlib. This is used to split the larger install file into two parts. After it is installed successfully, enter the following command to split the install.wim file. The number 4000 means the biggest file should be 4 gigabytes after splitting. This will take a while depending on the speed of your CPU. Once it is done, check the sources folder in your USB drive. Now you can eject and unplug your Windows 11 USB installer and plug it into your Windows PC to install Windows 11. 
Subscribe to us to get more content videos in the future. Hope you have a good day. Bye.